With the iRig Stomp I.O., IK Multimedia broke new ground by combining its world-class modeling and iOS ease of use with the compact and rugged high-quality pedal board and audio interface. The new Amplitude CS 4.6 update now features the Live View that allows it to seamlessly interact with the Stomp I.O. interface and controller. Let's take a quick look. Just connect the Stomp I.O. to your Mac or PC with a simple USB cable, confirm the connection request on the screen, and you're good to go. Once connected, the Live View can be shown or hidden by the dedicated button at the top right part of the Amplitude GUI. As for the iOS version, the desktop Live View has been designed for a quick and straightforward view and control, crucial features in a live setup. The four presets in the currently selected bank are shown on the top row. Each time a preset is recalled, either by clicking on the GUI or using the foot switches, the corresponding chain's configuration is shown at the top, while the four stomp slots are laid out on the bottom row. Switching banks is done by pressing and holding switch 2 for bank up, and by pressing and holding switch 1 for bank down. A light gray slot means an active stomp is loaded. When the stomp is loaded but bypassed, the slot turns dark gray. To assign an expression pedal to a parameter, simply right-click on the parameter, choose Learn, and move the pedal. Assignment is automatic. Set tempo by pressing and holding switch 4 on the Stomp I.O. and then tap to change the value. Press any other switch to exit tap tempo mode. As in the iOS version, looper mode is accessed by pressing and holding switches 1 and 2. Start recording by pressing switch 3. Once the loop is closed, use switch 3 as the play stop control. Switches 1 and 2 let you move across the loop tracks. To erase a loop, just press and hold switch 4, or use the dedicated right-click controls on the GUI.